than a penis. Lorena Bobbitt goes on trial for maliciously wounding her husband, and a lot of people are watching. Welcome to CNN Prime News. I'm Deborah Potter, in for Bernard Shaw in Washington. And I'm Susan Rook at CNN Center in Atlanta. Thank you for joining us. Here's a quick look at what's ahead on Prime News. Testimony begins in a court case that has attracted international attention and been the source of countless off-color jokes. Here, John Wayne Bobbitt described what happened the night his wife cut off his penis. A jury in another attention getting... The malicious wounding trial of Lorena Bobbitt began today in Manassas, Virginia. She has admitted emasculating her husband last June. Earlier today, she pleaded not guilty to the charge. This is believed to be a first step in a defense of insanity. Her attorney, Lisa Kemmler, told the jury in her opening remarks that Lorena Bobbitt was driven to the act by years of abuse. Psychiatric disorders were the product of the years of violence and abuse that she had suffered at the hands of her husband and that they combined to cause her to experience what Dr. Feaster will tell you was an acute psychotic break. And it was as a result of that that she was unable to overcome any ability to control her impulse to defend herself. In the end, ladies and gentlemen, what we have is Lorena Bobbitt's life juxtaposed against John Wayne Bobbitt's penis. The evidence will show that in her mind, it was his penis from which she could not escape, which caused her the most pain, the most fear, the most humiliation. And I submit to you that at the end of this case, you will come to one conclusion and that is that a life is more valuable than a penis. When Prime News returns, we'll hear what John Bobbitt had to say. After, you know, I fell asleep, you know, um, after I, I, I tried, tried, initially tried to have sex and just, you know, fell asleep and, you know, just right after that, uh, laying on my back. I woke up noticing she was, you know, just following with my midsection.